Hello from Ag Hill. My name is Amanda Mullen and I'm a senior majoring in Biorenewable Systems. It is my honor to welcome you to the 2021 College of Agricultural Sciences Scholarships and Awards Virtual Celebration. I'll be your MC. While we had hoped we could all be back at the Penn State or Conference Center this year, we are so glad we could still celebrate and that you can all join us virtually regardless of where you are in the world. We'll miss getting to share dinner with all of you, and we do hope to be able to return to that tradition next year. However, we do recognize that offering this annual event virtually opens the door for more of our donors, friends, and families to be a part of the celebration. The virtual aspect of this event is something we hope we will be able to incorporate in an in-person event in the future to ensure we can continue to reach and celebrate with as many of you as possible. In the meantime, today we hope this virtual celebration will help you understand how important your generous support is to the College of Agricultural Sciences, and most importantly, to us as students. But before we get any further, I want to take a moment on behalf of all of us in the College of Agricultural Sciences to say thank you. Your support is critical in helping us not only have a true Penn State experience, even with the challenges a pandemic brings, but also ensures we have open doors and opportunities to have the kinds of transformative experiences that prepare us for our future careers where we'll impact the world. Thank you for making that possible. Now I have the pleasure of introducing Rick Rausch, Dean of the College of Agricultural Sciences. Dr. Rausch is responsible for the administration of all the college's educational, research, government, alumni, industry relations, and Penn State Extension programs. This includes more than 3,000 undergraduate students, 450 graduate students, 250 faculty, and 1,500 staff, not just here at University Park, but from all 67 counties in Pennsylvania. Wow. Dr. Rausch recognizes the profound impact philanthropy has on our college, and specifically the students. With the help of philanthropy, the college is able to recruit and retain top-notch students and talented fa faculty members. It is thanks to those faculty members and the work that they do that students like me and others you will hear from today can find and pursue their interests and passions. So with that said, let me turn things over to Dr. Rausch. Thank you, Amanda, and thank you all for joining us for the 2021 Scholarships and Awards Virtual Celebration. I'm sorry that we can't all be together again this year at the Penn State or Conference Center, but with too many unknown variables surrounding COVID-19 and that the planning for these events takes many months in advance, we had to make the difficult decision once again to be virtual. I do hope that we will be able to return to the Penn State or next year. We appreciate your understanding and thank you for your continued support and for joining us via the web. For now, though, I'm going to come to you from the Agriculture and Biological Engineering Building, specifically the Power and Machinery Lab, one of the many outstanding spaces in this facility. It's been just over three years since we rededicated this building after a major rebuild and renovation. I thoroughly enjoy this facility and following the incredible work that takes place here. I know that our faculty, staff, and students who call it home are immensely proud of it also. The renovation and rebuild was a big investment by the university, more than $48.5 million, but also a recognition of the incredible value an education from the College of Agricultural Sciences provides our undergraduate and graduate students. Philanthropy has played a big role in outfitting this building with the proper tools that students and faculty need to succeed and to conduct world-class research. Philanthropy is playing the same role in the new $90 million Animal, Veterinary, and Biomedical Sciences Building that's just across the street from where I am now. We eagerly anticipate its grand opening in just a few months' time. Just as philanthropy plays a role in our facilities and programming, it also plays a huge role in the lives of our students. The scholarships and awards that many of you have so generously created and support are critical to allowing many of our students not only to attend Penn State and pursue their dreams, but also focus on their academics rather than suffering the financial strain that pursuing a college education can place on many individuals and their families. To give you an idea of the impact a scholarship can have, of the first year students who were surveyed who declined offers of admission for this 2021-22 academic year, 70% of them cited financial reasons for their decision not to come. Now clearly, along with the myriad of challenges over the last 18 months, your support means that much more. I have said it many times and say it again, I'm extremely proud of how our faculty, staff, students, 
and extension have embraced and adapted to the challenges the pandemic has brought forth. We are truly a special community and we are supported by wonderful and generous donors. Now, as you may know, our scholarship program in the college is the largest at Penn State. We provide support for one in four undergraduate students, as well as numerous graduate students. Thanks to your support, we have awarded nearly $3.1 million to 844 students this year. That's an increase of nearly $400,000 from last year. We have also added 14 new scholarships, fellowships, and awards to the program, including four that benefited from the now concluded educational equity matching program that the university offered in 2021. These are incredible numbers and they would not be possible without your tremendous support. I would also be remiss if I didn't mention the university's current campaign, a greater Penn State for the 21st century excellence. After eclipsing our original goal early, the campaign was extended through June, 2022, and our college's goal was increased. I'm pleased to share that we have made excellent progress and are looking forward to celebrating the end result and the completion of this campaign in the coming spring. Again, and I can't say it enough, none of this would have been possible without you. Since last year's event, it has certainly been a roller coaster ride with the pandemic, evolving guidelines and restrictions, and the many other changes and challenges along the way. However, as I've mentioned, our faculty, staff, students, and extension haven't let any of that stop them from their excelling in their work. While the pandemic continued to throw obstacles in many of our paths, we have had another outstanding year in the college. We have continued to adapt as needed. In some ways, things have returned to normal, and in others, we continue to embrace new ways of doing things. Here are just a few examples. We explored new ways to connect, such as bringing the creators or supporters of scholarships and the student recipients together via Zoom meetings. We've also established a new monthly webinar series called College Connections, which gives an inside perspective on our programs, people, and priorities, and partnerships of the college. Some of you may have attended a few of the sessions, such as the one highlighting vaccines, or the one showcasing the college's efforts against the spotted lanternfly. Our annual quarter horse sale went online for the second consecutive year back in April. The sale brought in $134,000 with a new record price per horse of more than $10,000 on average. Ag Progress Days, after going entirely virtual in 2020, returned to a live in-person event on August 10th through 12th. It was once again a great success with a large attendance and hundreds of commercial and educational exhibits. In addition, our student judging teams continue to compete and excel while doing so. One example includes two students who won the overall team competition at the University Class Process Meat Competition hosted by the American Association of Meat Processors. Now, despite study abroad not being possible, a few students were able to benefit from study abroad scholarships and awards here at home while doing remote internships and projects. Two students completed remote internships working on research about sustainable practices in education abroad programs focused on environmental resource management. In addition, another student completed a video project about studying abroad and where to find funding. None of this would have been possible without the willingness of donors to be flexible about how the funds from their guests were used during the past year. These are just a few examples of many of the great things that have happened in the past year, thanks to the dedication, creativity, and innovation of our students, faculty, and staff. Now, before I go, there are a number of people I'd like to acknowledge for all they do for the college. First, a big thank you goes out to the Student Scholarships and Award Committee, including Ellen Rahm, Robert Shannon, and Jazz Kovac. With the size of our scholarship program and the number of deserving students, they have done a tough job, but their absolute best to ensure the right students receive your scholarships and awards. Another group of people I want to thank includes Dr. Tracy Hoover, the Associate Dean of Undergraduate Education and her entire team in the Undergraduate Education Office. They've had a challenging 18 months with the transition to remote learning and the return to in-person education. They are all fantastic at what they do and helping to ensure that our students have an excellent experience. I also want to acknowledge the college's development team, the college relations staff, and the marketing and communications office. 
for the second year in a row, they put together a wonderful virtual celebration. It was a difficult decision whether we could have this event in person or not with a lot of unknowns, but they've done a wonderful job of making this a meaningful event and reaching a large group of people, many of whom would not be able to participate if it was here on campus. Finally, I'd be remiss if I didn't acknowledge our outstanding students. This year, we have nearly 600 first year students at one of 20 campuses. We saw an enrollment increase of 2% over 2020, which is great news. 65% of our students are from Pennsylvania, while 33% are from out of state. Our top out of state markets include New York, New Jersey, Maryland, Virginia, Florida, and Connecticut. With nearly 3,000 total undergraduates this year, 69% are from Pennsylvania, while 28% are out of state, 3% are international students. Among our graduate students, 59% are female and 41% are male. Just over 68% are from the United States, while nearly 30% are international students. For all of our students out there, you are incredible representatives of the college. I have great faith that you will go on to make a positive impact in the world of agricultural sciences, regardless of what field you have chosen and where you settle. I want to congratulate all of you and hope you know how much I enjoy watching you learn and grow during your years here. Keep up the great work. Finally, I wanna take one more opportunity to thank our donors. This celebration is about you and for all that you have done for our students and because you've made the College of Agricultural Sciences a philanthropic priority. Our successes are your successes. Thank you for your generosity and your support. While we anxiously await what we hope will be a return to in-person events next year, I hope you all stay safe and healthy. Thank you. Thank you very much, and back to you, Amanda. Thank you, Dr. Rash, and hello again. I'm joining you now from the Agricultural Engineering Building, a building that has special meaning for me. I'm excited about this next segment of the virtual celebration, but I want to take a quick minute to share a bit of my own story. I grew up in Easton, a small town in Fairfield County, Connecticut. I always had a passion for spending time outdoors, whether it be playing in the yard with my siblings and the neighborhood kids, are going for nature walks after class in the local state park. I don't have a traditional agriculture background, but in hindsight, my AP environmental science class set the stage for my career at Penn State. With the guidance of advisors and students of the College of Agricultural Sciences, I found a home in the agricultural and biological engineering department in the Biorenewable Systems program. This opened up the doors for many experiences, including the opportunity to reinstitute the Biorenewable Systems Club where I serve as vice president and being a sister of the Epsilon chapter of Sigma Alpha Professional Agricultural Sorority. I've also been able to continue exploring the outdoors with the Penn State Outing Club. This past summer, I interned with Ardent Mills in Chattanooga, Tennessee, whom I met at the Agricultural Sciences Virtual Career Fair last fall. It brings me great joy to see campus full and lively this semester and being the happy valley we all know and love. In the future, I hope to contribute to the mitigation of climate change in my career as a sustainability and environmental consultant. None of this, however, would be possible without the support of scholarships and donors who make scholarships a reality. I am proud to be a College of Agricultural Sciences scholarship recipient. Specifically, I received the Frank and Jeanette S. Pikert Scholarship in Agricultural and Biological Engineering, Mission Tanner Scholarship Fund, and Ray and Jan Evans Scholarship in Agricultural and Biological Engineering. These scholarships directly fund my tuition to attend this amazing college and allow me to seize all of the opportunities this university has to offer. These gifts helped my mother realize her dream of sending her three children to college to obtain a bachelor's degree, an opportunity she was not able to have for herself. That is to say, without these scholarships, I would not be able to attend my dream school. And I know that these awards and scholarships aid hundreds of my peers as well. So I personally want to say a resounding thank you to the donors who fund the College of Agricultural Sciences scholarships. Because at the end of the day, that is a direct investment in our futures. I cannot thank you enough for investing in my future success as well as my classmates in the college. Now, while we have loved to include all 844 scholarship recipients in this virtual celebration, that would take a really, really long time. Instead, I hope you'll enjoy hearing from a small group of students over the next few minutes who wanted to share their stories. Like all of us here in the College of Agricultural Sciences, each one of them has their own personal story and your support has helped them in so many ways. 
So grab a box of tissues just in case and enjoy. Hi, my name is Renee Sullivan. I'm a fourth year studying biological engineering with a minor in international agriculture. I um, am from St. Thomas, Pennsylvania, and I received the Carson Memorial Scholarship, the Thevos Honor Scholarship, the Kilgard Scholarship, and the Leonard Student Award. I'd like to thank all the donors and representatives of these awards that I received. It's been a tremendous help in funding my uh, time here and my studies at Penn State. Um, I've definitely enjoyed my time here at Penn State with getting involved in many different organizations, such as the Society of Women Engineers, the Women Engineering Program, um, and the American Society of Ag and Biological Engineers. I um, also was able to study abroad, which was a great experience. And so I'd like to thank you again for all of the support that you have you know, established in the College of Ag Sciences. It's been a tremendous help and I really appreciate it. Thank you. This is Luke May, and I just wanted to thank you so much for your support with the Kelly Shane Quinn Scholarship in Agricultural Sciences. Um, I'm a sophomore in the Honors College here at Penn State, um, and I'm studying immunology, and I hope after my graduation in 2024 to continue on to medical school to hopefully become a family physician. Um, I come from a Penn State family, so there was no question that Penn State was the right place for me. And now that I'm finally here on campus, I'm seeing that that was the right decision. And so I'm so excited to sink my teeth into everything that Penn State has to offer with academics and extracurriculars, all of the above. I'm so excited to be here. So thank you so much for your support of me and I'll make it worth your while for your investment in me and the university. So thank you again, and we are. Hello everyone, my name is Tani Moratori and I'm very grateful to be here with you tonight. I'm from the north of Italy, specifically from Vignola, which is a beautiful historical city near Bologna. I'm a PhD student in the Animal Science Department here at Penn State, and I just started my first year. I major in dairy genetics, and my research focuses on telomere length and pasture behaviors in dairy cows. I was honored to be this year's recipient of the Obi and Mary Ann Snyder Scholarship in Dairy and Animal Science. I would like to express to Mrs. Greta J. Hallahan how grateful I am for this incredible opportunity. Thanks a lot for choosing me. I feel appreciated and valued receiving this award. It will help me remain more focused and dedicated to my work. Hello, my name is Lydia Perconi and I'm from Easton, Maryland. I am a first year student within the College of Agricultural Sciences and I am also a Schreier Scholar. Over the next four years at Penn State, I will be pursuing the Veterinary and Biomedical Sciences major. This year, I was lucky enough to receive the College of Agricultural Sciences Alumni Society First Year Scholarship. When I was first notified about the scholarship, I was both delighted and very surprised because I had heard earlier in the year that first year students don't typically receive any scholarships at all. So to be one of the recipients this year means so much to me. And I really wanna give my sincerest thanks to the Alumni Society and also Mr. Alan Shefrenek for giving me this amazing opportunity. I am so grateful to be a scholarship recipient and to know that there are people out there who believe in me and want to see me succeed is extremely encouraging. I am very excited to begin my journey with the College of Agricultural Sciences, and I can't wait to see where it leads me. Hello there, my name is Thomas Gable. I'm a senior majoring in agricultural and extension education with minors in international agriculture and sustainability leadership. I hail from Newport, Pennsylvania, which is about a half hour west of Harrisburg in Perry County. And I'm also honored to be a recipient of four different scholarships in the College of Agricultural Sciences this year. These scholarships include the Thomas and Sanders Spring Scholarship, the Philip Ray and B. Joyce Cook Family Trustee Scholarship, the Henry S. Bruner Outstanding Student Award, and the James and Pamela Reese Arbuckle Scholarship in International Agriculture. From the bottom of my heart, I just want to say thank you to all the donors for these four awards, but also the awards throughout the whole college, as without these awards, students like myself wouldn't be able to attend college. Like, for me personally, I would not be able to attend this school to major in agricultural and such education and invest my life and in potential into influencing the lives of future students. 
from the bottom of my heart, thank you for allowing me to pursue this. Thank you for allowing me to pursue a future career path to alleviate that stressful financial load and focus on how I can better myself right now for a future career in the agriculture industry. And I just want to thank you on behalf of fellow students that have had very similar experiences. So overall, thank you to the generous donors who make this a reality and make the lives of students brighter. Thank you. My name is Clayton Wagner. I'm currently a junior here at Penn State, majoring in agribusiness management and minoring in entrepreneurship and innovation, as well as communications, arts, and sciences. I come from Middletown, Pennsylvania, and this year I am a recipient of the Seas Memorial Scholarship and the Harbaugh Family Trustee Scholarship. To the donors, I want to thank you not only for your generosity in helping to mitigate my college expenses, but also for showing me the value that I have in this industry. Thank you so much. Hello, my name is Andrea Sergio. I'm from Toms River, New Jersey, and I'll be going into my junior year this upcoming August. I'm majoring in veterinary and biomedical sciences and minoring in One Health. Mr. KV, I would like to show my appreciation for selecting me as the recipient of the James and Gertrude Lemur Scholarship. It truly means the world to me that you're able to help me reach my goal of becoming a veterinarian. I came to Penn State because I love the atmosphere and the family feel of the school. It is such an amazing institution and I truly feel connected to the past alumni, the history of the school, and my fellow students. This, on top of having one of the best pre-veterinary programs in the country, led me to choosing Penn State. Having already experienced two years of undergrad, I am so excited to see what the next half has in store. With a scholarship, I will be able to put some money aside for vet school. Being a VBSC major and a One Health minor, I have already seen how difficult my chosen path can be and this scholarship helps take some of the financial burden off of mine and my family's shoulders. I cannot thank you enough for it. I don't know about you, but I found it really moving to hear from my fellow students about the impact your support has had on their experience here at Penn State. And remember, Thomas, Andreas, Renee, and the others are just a small representation of the hundreds of students who benefit immensely from scholarships and awards in your college. Thank you just isn't enough. Well, as much as I hate to do this, it's time to bring things to a close. But before I let you go, I have a few announcements to share. First, while our main virtual celebration may be coming to an end, please be sure to check out the additional video content on the celebrations webpage. There's a separate video for you to view on your own time, showcasing our student keynotes, graduate student Tanya Muratori, and undergraduate student Lydia Perricone. You won't want to miss hearing from them. Second, each year we will take time to acknowledge newly created scholarships and those scholarships and awards who have reached specific anniversary milestones. We hope you will enjoy reviewing those at your leisure. They can be found further down the page. Finally, we really do hope we will be able to return to the Penn Stater next year. It would mean so much to be able to meet face to face, share a delicious meal, and talk with one another. So for now, with fingers crossed, Stay tuned next summer for more information on the 2022 College of Agricultural Sciences Scholarships and Awards Celebration. Well, that about wraps things up. I'm so glad I got to serve as your MC for the College of Agricultural Sciences Scholarships and Awards Virtual Celebration this year. I thoroughly enjoyed this opportunity and I know my fellow students did too. Most importantly, I hope you all enjoyed tuning in. Thank you again for your generosity and support. For all of us students who benefit from your gifts, it means the world to know you have invested in the college, in us, and our futures. It drives us to keep pushing forward towards our dreams. We truly are thankful for the doors that are open, the opportunities for transformative experiences, and the knowledge that we're gaining that will allow us to impact the world in a positive way. Until next year, please stay safe and healthy. We are.